Hello, everyone. Hope you're doing well. Oh, yeah. Did my daily check-in. 20 Primo Gems. That uh, was from yesterday, I guess. I didn't collect it. Cool. Get rid of all those stupid things. I only wish life could be as leisurely as this a little more often. <laughs> How right. greedy of me. I don't know if it's greedy. Um, check out my shirt. It's a computer joke. It's not creepy. You understand it. <laughs> Came from uh, Bitwit. Where am I going? There. I started this quest forever ago. Um, from what I remember, there's a book that Singshu, I think that's how you pronounce his name, um, that he wanted. There's someone that supposedly had one. It's like a really hard book to find. And he went to the guy, and the guy is basically being taken advantage of from some muggers or something. They're basically saying that they need to give him all of, or they, they're taking all of his wages basically and everything from him. So they took the book because he didn't have any more money left because they took it all. So Singshu didn't think that's right. So we're going to try and figure out who the frick is being such a jerk. I didn't think it was right either, but apparently I wasn't that interested in it because I started this forever ago. So where am I going? What am I doing? Who knows? I'll do commissions probably after this. Sturdy woo. I'm glad you're sturdy. Uh, how, what if Master finds out? I don't know. Who goes there? Me. I'm Whisper, a VIP client of your boss. How strange. You're not on the guest list. I'm that VIP. I don't need to be on the guest list. The Master is dealing with some urgent business today. All prior appointments have been canceled. Okay. Urgent business? What is it? <sighs> the Master's been working on a major business deal recently. He left early this morning to meet with a VIP client. Uh, excuse me. There is no one more VIP than me. So, tell me where he is. So, where is he now? Yes, Paimon. I'm sorry. Get the answers. The Master is stressed that we must not disclose that information to just anyone. Again, just anyone? Are you saying we are not his VIP clients? Uh, no, I, I, I mean, yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> I, I, I meant no offense. Please, believe me. Hmm. Would you like me... Would you like to explain these extra fees you are incurring to your boss, or shall I? I I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Master's currently in business negotiations at Shinya Kiosk. Okay. I, I beg for your mercy, please. My master will show me no leniency if he finds out. Well, my master has much more important things to do than talking to rude guards like you. <laughs> Luckily for you, your bad attitude will be the last thing on his mind when he's busy negotiating a big business deal with your boss. Yeah. Th thank you, thank you. May your business forever be blessed by the Lord of Geo. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> nice work! Paimon never knew you were such a tough negotiator. I was just bluffing. Is that so? 
Now Paimon knows not to let your wily ways get the better of her in the future. <laughs> I know about the idea. Anyway, seems like the VIP client in question must be one of the Fatui. Hmm. Better not be child. Oh, I don't know what I'll do. Fight him again. I think you're right. In that case, let's get ourselves over to the Shinue kiosk. Okay. Shin Shin See, this business is booming at the Shinue kiosk. No one should notice if we blend in there. But either way, if we want to know what kind of shady business they're up to, we better be careful. Shinue? A hard one for me. My mouth doesn't want to work like that. Try and pronounce all these right. I kind of find it fun when I finally kind of do, but it's, that's a hard one. I'd have to actually hear it a few more times, even. Just every time it comes out, it's not coming out right, so. Um. Wee! Move! Icicle coming through. I don't know where this place is. It's up here somewhere. Kiosk, huh? Where? What should I put in my letter? What are you two doing? Not usually two people out. Normally just one. I understand. I do. Please do not worry. You have my word that the order will be completed as promised. Spooky. Hmm. The subordinate I sent was not quite so optimistic in his appraisal. Is somebody being uncooperative? Just turn on auto, huh? Uh, we just ran into a minor procurement problem, is all. We haven't managed to purchase the Core Lapis yet. Hmm. But it's nothing for you to worry about. If Chang the Ninth won't sell, I can buy from someone else. What? I thought he didn't have it. I thought he gave it to someone. Or something like that. I forget. It was quite a while ago. Um, Core Lapis is the book. Sure. That would be most ideal. I remind you again that the Fatui care only about the result. We are willing to lend a certain degree of support to this transaction. But if it is not completed in time, you may suddenly find our goodwill comes at a price you cannot afford. I understand. I am indebted to you for your protection. You know I would not dream of disappointing you, don't you? We shall see when the time comes. <laughs> Darn that old man, Chain. So, hmm. Mr. Gentry Mozai is colluding with the Fatui. Who knows if Gua Geek has made any progress? Should we go <laughs> tell him? <laughs> yeah, we should probably not be talking so much here. Ah! They disappeared. Quick run. They've turned invisible. I've turned into a frost cloud. I'll never know. Alright, I probably could have just jumped off. I think he's... Yeah, it's like... Back. Wait, what? Where is he? Yeah, that's right. I think. But his place is right here. Was this not his place? I met him here before. Out of my way. This is so fun. I mean, I have Mona. It's pretty fun, too, but I don't know why it's more fun being an icicle. Then I can just wham! Oh, no. Stairs. Okay, as long as they're good stairs. Apparently, saw you can go up them. Hello, Singshu. Guru <laughs> Geek or whatever. other things to look into, as if you're some sort of man of mystery. Yeah. I think he is kind of mysterious. When actually, all you meant was you wanted somewhere new to park your backside 
<laughs> well, you read your book. <laughs> uh, we know what Gentry Mosa is up to now. I see. I guessed as much. Did you really guess, or are you just saying that to sound clever? The course of action we must take is now clear. To start with, please deliver this letter to the Feiyun Commerce Guild. They will know what to do. My liege, for reasons that I cannot explain, I will be unable to join you. There is no need for you to read the contents of the letter. When the time comes... Ugh, this writing is super hard to read. Python can't make heads or tails of it. A secret text that needs a cipher, perhaps? Uh, <laughs> hence why I said there is no need for you to read it. The, bad the Feiyun Commerce Guild will have someone who can understand it. Mm. But why would you want to get them involved? They're one of the big big commerce guilds in Liyue. Why would they want to help us? What is the Feiyun Commerce Guild? Since we got to Liyue, Paimon keeps hearing people mention it. Seems they oversee a lot of business that goes on around here. Having such big backing would be great and all, but are you sure they'd want to help? No need to worry about that. From what I know, they share my sense of chivalry. Once they have read the carefully reasoned and passionately argued case I put forth in this letter, they will certainly be moved to action. Why get them involved anyway? Gentry Moutsai must be taught a lesson he will never forget. This is something we cannot do on our own. Mm. Also, I do not wish for anyone else to know of my involvement in this. Why not? You're only doing this to try and help Ching the Ninth, right? To silently disappear at the matter's conclusion, concealing one's name and contribution. This is the chivalrous thing to do. To savor the memory is ample reward. Each droplet of kindness I receive, I am duty-bound to repay with a welling spring of gratitude. I seek neither praise nor reward. That sounds very lovely. But be honest, you just want them to do it so you can carry on reading your book, don't you? Thank you in advance for delivering this letter to the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Someone from the Guild should be able to receive you near Lioli Pavilion. Hey! Stop ignoring <laughs> Paimon! Can you blame him, Paimon? You're being rude. <laughs> um... This way. Yay! Roll around here. Hmm. Right into walls. Jeez. Oh, I not to kill anyone inside here. But not be good. Ah! I don't know why I pressed that. Apparently, I just wanted to fight. You! Surprise. Are you impressed by my magical abilities? Ah. What do you think? Impressed? Maybe only people in Mondstadt clap for you. Excuse us, we come bearing news of a matter requiring your assistance. Uh, it's all in this letter. Um, why are you suddenly talking like Sing Shu? A letter? Oh, I see. This again. Again? Oh, don't mind me. I was just speculating. Let me give this a read. Okay. Can we actually read this thing? Is it even written in the common tongue? Hmm. Yes, the script is inimitable by the uninitiated. Honored guests, you must both be wary from your long journey. Please allow the Feiyun Commerce Guild to be your host for tonight. Wait, what? Please rest assured that the matter written about has been duly received. We just need some time to prepare. Please take a seat here in Leo Lee Pavilion, where you may enjoy some light refreshments while taking in the ocean view. Consider it a small token of our esteem. Sounds good Yay, to me. tasty snacks! They're giving us the VIP treatment! <laughs> of course. We treat visitors with the utmost respect here at the Feiyun Commerce Guild. When honored guests grace us with their presence, far be it from us to shirk our duty to them. Please, this way. Hmm. Who did it say we are? Wish I knew.
And Paimon thought we'd get kicked out or turned away at the door. Right? It was like psychic paper. Paimon didn't think Guhua Geek had so much clout. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. Okay. How much more patience? With the amount of wealth and power Gentry Mount Sai has, it will take more than a slap on the wrist to get through to him. For him to correct the error of his ways, he must feel for himself the same suffering he has inflicted on Chang the Ninth. Since Gentry Maltzai's business has to do with Core mm. Lapis, we simply need to buy up all the stock there is in Liu. That will put him in a rather sticky situation. Deprived of the necessary raw materials, even the best craftsperson in Tevat would be unable to make their product. Great idea! That'll be sure to mess things up between him and the Fatui. But Liu is huge! Is it really possible to buy up every last bit of Core Lapis in the harbor? With the time scale we are on, it is indeed a challenge. Hence, as stated in the letter, we must ask for your further cooperation in the matter. First, there are a number of vendors in the city you will need to buy from. I've marked their respective locations on your map. There is also some unsold Core Lapis at the Chasm. You will need to purchase that too. Finally, there is Chang the Ninth's batch. Alrighty, so three sellers in the city, another one at the Chasm, and then Chang the Ninth. Roger that! Of course. We are not expecting you to cover the costs. Wow! So many Mora! With cash like this, Paimon could rent out Leoli Pavilion and eat there for a whole month! <laughs> the Paimon Commerce Guild is certainly generous with its resources. <laughs> well, this is not the first time we've had to do something like this. It's just par for the course now. All you need to do is strike a deal. The Feyun Commerce Guild will handle the transportation and other trifling matters. Once you have purchased all the core lapis, please proceed to the Feyun Commerce Guild's warehouse where you can see the rest of the plan unfold. Gotta hand it to Guhua Geek. This is some seriously solid work for a guy who lives in a fantasy world. Let's do this in the order the guy said. First the sellers in the city, then the chasm, and then last but not least, Chang the Ninth. Hey, what if I don't do it in that order? Apparently that letter just explained everything that was going on and they're just actually like cooperative or something. Interesting. There's no scheming involved. I don't like it. That's lower? <laughs> Guess so. Hi. Hi. Anything I can do for you? I don't know. I'll take all your core lapis. Wasn't there a book or something they were trying to get, I thought? Well, that's what all this was about. You want all my core lapis? Uh, I've already agreed to several orders. That said, none are in writing. The buyers are being incredibly indecisive. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe Chang the Ninth is a uh, Cord Lapis Miner or something. <clears throat> and if we help him, I, I don't know. I forget. I should probably not take such long breaks in between quests, but I don't know. At the time, it wasn't that interesting to me, and I was really trying to get to Inazuma. Oh, it's for the Feiyun Commerce Guild? Hmm, seems business trends are about to change in Liyue. Oh, uh, <laughs> nothing. Just talking to myself. Come, let us sign a contract. Don't worry about my prior client. He hadn't made any down payments or anything. Quite common in the industry. Thank you for your patronage. We hope the Feiyun Commerce Guild will continue to do business with us. Okay. This guy then, I guess. Good day, my friend. Uh, my apologies, but I'm out of stock at the moment. Please try again next time. Uh, are you out of core lapis oh, too? Oh, I thought you were here to purchase Snezhnayan products. No. No, that I still have. Although I ship it all to factories in Snezhnaya. 
I don't do retail. Too much hassle, not enough return. Sorry. Does we'll take it all still count as retail? What? Uh, no, 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 no. Give me a second to think. Um, uh, all right, I'll do it. Just need you to sign for it. Clearly no shortage of cash flow in the air. Is this your first time coming here? So you should go back to Shneznaya. It's stupid Fatui. And stupid what's-her-face. <clears throat> Still mad at her. She took Venti's vision. Ah! Don't die. Oi! Shh! Why? Is it gonna upset your flowers? I don't keep my voice down. I'll take all your coral lapis. All of it? Though my business may not seem so big, I should warn you that I can get what you need, both legitimately and not so legitimately. <laughs> Best you give me an actual number. Uh, this guy. All of it pleasing. would be far more than you actually want. I've talked to him a couple of times and so never liked him. Uh. The Feiyun Commerce Guild only ever does legal business. What are you saying? Of course my business is all above board. Feiyun Commerce Guild, you say? Huh? Yeah, you idiot. <laughs> Stop talking about your legal businesses to everyone. If it's for the <laughs> Feiyun Commerce Guild, then sign on the dotted line, and I'll start getting things in order right away. Yeah, okay. What if I was part of the Millet? I just came up here and you started talking like that, huh? I'd arrest you. Fool. Where? Okay, now I'm going out to Ching Nine. Out yonder, I assume, right? Maybe not. Go to the chasm. Okay, to buy more. Pew. Pew. Was this quest available before the chasm? Maybe that's why I didn't do it. What are you guys doing? Taking a stroll. Mind if I interrupt? Have some wind. Get them all. Fools. Um. Mine. Aha. So cute. Crimson fox. I'm gonna have a million foxes. That's my plan. My teapot will be literally filled with foxes. Gonna be amazing. Look, another fool. Hi. You miss. I'm over here. Ah, what? Nope. That will cancel. Don't do that. Stop doing that. I don't want you to waste it. Um, uh, probably should put this back on. Great. <laughs> I don't know what happened to my thing, but whatever. What are you doing, slime? Go around so I don't bother the slime. My mouse freaked out there for a second. I don't know what that was. Who am I buying from up here? I thought it wasn't safe to come up here. Climbing on it, and just investigate. Thank you. 
use some of this. I think. This is much easier than whacking it. <laughs> in charge of the core lab this year? Aha! Finally! I thought you might come. I hear the Feiyun Commerce Guild has been buying up all the core lapis stock in Liu Harbor. How did you As hear happens, that? happens, I do have a batch of core lapis that hasn't been shipped yet. It's all yours, if you name the right price. And how much does the it The original buyer's price was already quite high, so... Hmm... The best I can do is seven million mora. Are you serious? We spent less than a hundred thousand mora on the rest of Liu's stock put together. I'm afraid it has to go to the highest bidder. <laughs> I'm breaching an existing agreement by selling to you, so it has to be worth my while. <laughs> there was a error there. <laughs> they wrote two million, but she said a hundred thousand. Um. It's poor form to just raise the price without good grounds. Look, you have your problems to deal with and I have mine. You can take it or leave it. So if you're not buying, please leave me alone. What if I just oh, clear right, out the oh, hillotrals? All right, we'll pay, even if it is a ridiculous price. When we get back, we'll just have to tell the guild that we'll sell to this gentleman at four times the normal price in the future. Wait, <laughs> surely there's no need for that. <laughs> Smart thinking, Paimon. Maybe you should think twice before affronting the Feiyun Commerce Please, field. don't do this. It's not even your money. Why be so frugal with it? It might be the guild's money, but we'll have a tough time explaining to our boss why we spent so much in one go. If he asks, all we can do is mention your name and say you gouged us over the price. Yep. I... I understand. I'm sorry, please. I, I don't want any trouble with the guild. There's just one other thing, though. There's been an issue with the delivery of this batch. Uh, several carts were ambushed by hilly churls. I don't I know where exactly, but if I can't retrieve the goods, I can't sell them to you either. So, maybe you could go and look for the carts? There should be five of them in total. If you can find them all and tell me where they are, I'll sign the contract right away. You have a deal. Oh, thank you very much. This is a lot to ask, I know. That's that, then. Well, no time to lose. Come on! This is what I was trying to say earlier. Why don't we just take care of the hill of turtles for you? Because this place is swarming. <laughs> I was wondering how anyone is doing anything up here. Oh my gosh, what's going on, computer? Just can't you impact. You should be able to handle this in streaming, at least. A piece of garbage. It's not a piece of garbage. My graphics card is turning that way because it's so old. Like Boom. 10 years old or something at this point. Getting close to 10 years old. It's going to die. Sometime. Yeah. Kind of upset because I got to watch someone stream Far Cry 5. This is their first time ever playing it, and I tried. Doing that with Far Cry 5 and then 6 and it just, I can't. My computer just will not allow it to be. The graphics card fails. Stooled. So every time it's... Yep, that's it. It stutters like that. I'm just like, is, is now the time? Is now the time it dies? Because not doing a whole lot. Oh yeah, we found it. Check out all that core lapis. Make a note of the location. We'll send the Feiyun Commerce Guild to collect it later. Yeah. I've already fixed it up as much as I can. 
liquid cooled now, so it was not doing good at all when it was on air. Granted, I probably could have just, I don't know, maybe just new thermal compound would have fixed it, but I doubt it. It was really bad. I couldn't do anything. Spent like a hundred dollars on an old card because new cards are just way too ridiculous. It's getting better though. Whirling snow by royal decree. Can't catch me. That's it, all right. That's a big old stash of core lapis. Hopefully, core lapis is fireproof. That card's gonna burn. Or not. Hmm. What is this? Ha. Oh, core lapis. Nah. I want to jump on it, but couldn't get the right angle. What? It's mine. The ball. This is the only one that I don't think is pretty. <laughs> the point of that view? Gross. I guess you'd have to really like destroying the environment to like that view. Oh yeah, that's some good destruction of the resources and environment there. That's gorgeous. from him. What is he going to feed you out here? Here, we've made a note of the cart's locations. All five of them. Can you sell us the core lapis now? Oh, wonderful. Thank you both. Yes, let's make this official. I also hope you could put in a good word with your boss for me. <laughs> Done? Yeah. Why should I put a good word in? I'll just put no word in. We'll just say that everything went smooth. How about that? <laughs> the heck. Oh, I'm eating a uh, a candy. That's all it is. It's a candy. I swear. Okay, some of these just taste better than the others. That or, I don't know. That one tasted very mango. Mmm. It's a mango adult candy. Um, nice work here, Paimon. We make a great team, don't we? Now for yeah. the final stop on our core lapis crawl to change the ninth place. That time we're going to there. The lizard. Shh. Ah! Got it. 
Oh no. You. My mortal enemy. Died to ice, I think. <laughs> Roz killed him there, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. The dendro slime. Avoid him. He's so scary. Not really. I just think they're cute. I don't want to. I don't like killing those ones. Um, he's far. Oh yeah. Up here. I'd hate living up here. Unless he never left. Then it might be okay. Having to climb up all those ladders though every time, man. Jeez. Just who I was hoping to see. I was just thinking to myself. Gentry Mount sized thugs have been mysteriously absent for a while now. Oh yeah? You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Oh, don't worry. You won't be hearing from them again. Hopefully not. I don't know. Oh? What... what happened? I forget how all of this is going to tie back to us getting... the book. I'm quite sure there was a book. Why else are we talking to the bookworm geek guy? Um, he's not the bookworm geek. Sing Shu is, but not only that, but we'd like to purchase your core lapis. Uh? Oh, oh, I see now. You're you're in this trade too, so you're trying to beat him to the post, eh? Appearances can be deceiving, that's for sure. I don't care who you are. A discount of 70% is simply impossible. The maximum I can do is 40% off, and even then I'm I'm only breaking even. Calm down. Indeed, we'll take it at the market rate. Yeah. You mean you're not trying to force the price down? No. What, what, what's going on? If I died and gone to heaven? I'll give you 20% extra. How about that? Does that sound good? Is that fair? 25% extra, no more. That's what I would do, since that other guy was ready to gouge us. And we could actually, like, get the money or whatever. You know, why, uh... Why not just give this guy a little extra? They would never know. He deserves it. I can't believe it! I will make a profit on this batch after all! Is that enough, though? But gentry mount-sized thugs could still come back after I've sold it! Yeah. That's what I thought. If I don't know how they're gone. You they're not gonna bother you again, then you'd better believe they're not gonna bother you again. I don't even know why I should trust me, because I don't remember the situation. Rest assured, you are safe selling to us. Huh. Okay, then. My situation can hardly get worse from here in any case. But tell me, what on earth do you plan to do with so much core lapis? Actually, it's for a commission. Can't go into too much detail. Smooth. Um. We'll send someone to collect the goods later. Thank you. Thank you a million times over. I really don't know what to say. Uh, don't thank us yet. Wait till we finished it. Good people always get what's coming to them in the end. And so will the nasty people. <laughs> anyway, let's get going, because apparently we have a show to watch at the Feiyun Commerce Guild's warehouse. I think the end is too far away, though, Paimon. The nasty people just keep on getting good things until the end. Um... Uh...
back to leeway. Right? No. Where? Oh my gosh. I might have to go back and figure out what stream it was that I did this on. All these streams are on YouTube, so if anyone's watching and wants to see the first part of this that I did, um, it's there somewhere. <laughs> I don't remember where. Probably like 30 streams ago or something, but... I think that one might actually have a thumbnail that you could tell. Pretty sure. I don't put any thumbnails on them, really. I was trying. I was editing down the streams and putting in some memes and stuff and trying to, you know. I did for, like, a few episodes anyway. But they all get zero views, so I just, I just upload them there and they can get zero views without me putting work into it. Sing Shu. Welcome. The final act in this drama would not be complete without you two here as audience. I hope that's how you pronounce his name. You better believe it! We're the ones who've been doing all the work! What exactly have you been doing all this time? Uh, well, naturally, I used the time to immerse myself completely in Legend of the Shattered Halberd. I managed to finish the book off, and I enjoyed every minute of it. What was it about? Divine Halberd, an ominous sword. Mir and Wei Yang. The way the story develops across the first five volumes. Nothing short of exemplary. But the sixth volume? Oh, words fail me. How blessed mm. we are to have such an author grace our world with such works. <laughs> and this is related to Gentry Meltsai, how? It's not. But when something surpasses expectations to such a degree, one must show one's appreciation. He's just kind of nerding out. Let him nerd out, dude. Cool. I kind of want to hear more. Um... Is the ending of the book good? It was rather good. Thanks. I only hope that as our plan reaches its denouement, it too will live up to its expectations. Why does Paimon have to be the only one who doesn't get what's going on? No <laughs> fair! Uh, so go on then, tell me, what are we doing here? And what's this big dramatic showdown thing that's supposed to happen? Think about it. Gentry Maltzai goes searching for Core Lapis all over Liyue Harbor, and he doesn't find a single piece. He panics. Without the goods, he can't fulfill his contract. And if he can't fulfill his contract, he can't stay in good standing with the Fatui. He hears a rumor that the Feiyun Commerce Guild is the culprit. Panic turns to disbelief. Gentry Maltzai is a hugely powerful figure in the business world. Never has anyone dared to target him like this. So regardless of whether it is revenge or a swift resolution that he seeks, he is certain to... So it was you! You were the oh. one sticking your necks out for Chang the Ninth! <laughs> Speak of the devil. I went everywhere trying to find someone selling Core Lapis before I realized the Feiyun Commerce Guild had been on an acquisition spree. Core Lapis is hardly a rare mineral, and yet suddenly the stocks dry up, just like that. Explain yeah. yourselves. What is the meaning of this persecution? We are not persecuting you, but protecting another, one to whom I am indebted. Upon witnessing an injustice, it is a perfectly normal response to rush to the aid of he who has been wronged. Was it not one of your own men who said, this isn't over? <clears throat> you clearly don't know what's good for you. I won't beat around the bush. Master, if you please. Seize their Corlapis! Oh, please. Oh, yay! Thanks, you! Ooh, ow. No, my sword! Die. I want a superhero. Oh, whatever they're called. Oh, dang, get eaten. It. 
Since every hit he does water. Rain outlines your face. Oh. Okay, there's one more. Well, there should be a boss, right? You're open. Witness the power of Gugwa. Oh yeah, that's right. That's his ability. Oh. What? Where did he go? That guy just got deleted. Uh oh. Ah. Embrace the ice. Okay, I don't want to kill him too quick. If I pull out Oz, he'll die instantly. So. I want to have some fun. Ah, no! Run from death. Dang it. <laughs> Impressive. You are no commoners. To continue this fight would be to incur greater losses than I can accept. Wanted to play him more. Really like his jacket, too. Their strength is almost spent. Finish them off. The core lapis is almost within our grasp. Might I remind you that the Fatui's relationship with you extends to business matters only. I did not lend you my men to have them stir up trouble at your beck and call. <laughs> What are you saying? Master, everything I did, I did with only one thing in mind. To complete the order. Then figure it out by yourself. <laughs> D -d Don't go. Wait. Master, wait. My lord, what are you doing here? Are you hurt? Thanks to this valiant young woman, I am unscathed. <laughs> My yeah, lord? thanks to me. Wait, what? I mean, it shouldn't surprise us that he's a noble person, right? He seems so noble. My lord? You? You are the heir of the Feiyun Commerce Guild? Indeed, oh. my liege. I am Xing Cho, disciple of the Guhua clan and second son of the Feiyun Commerce Guild manager, and I make no secret of it. Drats! I've been played like a fiddle. Gentry Mautzai. Coercion and intimidation are hardly the attributes of a respectable businessman. The problems that your business practices have created, I have sought to resolve through mine. I shudder to think what the Fatui will do with you if you fail to provide their core lapis. You meddling swine! Well, go on. Tell me, what will you sell it for? Since you asked Chang the Ninth for a discount of 70%, Let's fight fire with fire, shall we? Three times the market rate sounds fair, no? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you subject me to such viciousness? This is a malicious and calculated attempt to run me into the ground. No. Deep breaths now. This is a simple decision. Will you buy or not? It's only fair. I, 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 <clears throat> fine. Have it your way. I'll find the money somehow. Happy now? <laughs> On behalf of the Feiyun Commerce Guild, I thank you for your business, and hope you will continue to do business with us in future. You? Funny-speaking, book-reading, guhua-geeking, Tsing Cho are the heir of the Feiyun Commerce Guild? <laughs> so that massive stash of Mora you let us burn through in a day, that was from your private vault? T'was but a paltry sum. I got to make a very sound investment while putting Gentry Mautzai in his place. A classic two birds, one stone situation. Appearances really can be deceiving. You're too kind. You have valor in your heart, and that is worthy of admiration. Yikes! Paimon's been calling you Guhua Geek this whole time! Paimon read in one of these martial artist novels that when rich heirs like you get angry at someone, you have their arms and legs chopped off. Why are you telling me this? Paimon's toast and sorry, very sorry. Please don't hurt Paimon. Yeah, tell him. Calm down. Since you can fly, you hardly need your legs anyway. <laughs> save me, save me. This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. <laughs> Uh, oh, Paimon, he's obviously joking. You're fine. Jokes aside, 
I have the two of you to thank for this successful resolution. Really, you are a huge help. Meanwhile, Legend of the Shattered Halberd was positively riveting. Much obliged if you could return it to Chang the Ninth for me. Making us run yet another errand. I did nothing, and hence deserve none of his gratitude. The two of you, meanwhile, though strangers to the circumstances, stepped in and saved the day. To have made such valiant and chivalrous friends is more than enough for me, my liege. My lord, uh, forgive the intrusion. It's about your father. Please inform my father thusly. I have averted a disaster and earned a sizable sum of money in the process. Might this meritorious act compensate for my prior transgressions and earn me a few more days of freedom, perchance? Legend of the Shattered Halberd speaks of a domain that I should very much like to investigate. For <laughs> all your clever long words, the fact is you're just the lazy bones who doesn't want to work. <laughs> What if oh. I told you that a reward awaits you at Cheng the Ninth's palace, and not just his gratitude? Palace? Place. <laughs> Another error. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think that's a palace either. <laughs> Maybe. I suppose so. It's a palace to him, I guess. But I think that he just... Whatever it is that he has to do you know, at that Commerce Guild. It's probably not what he really wants to do. It looks like he, you know, he's really interested in, like, reading these books and then going investigating where they are and stuff, so... I don't know, that should... That's what he wants to do. We should let him. A reward? Hmm. Well, that sweetens the deal somewhat. Ah, <sighs> it seems whatever I say, there's no persuading you to stay. I was pronouncing his name wrong, by the way. I knew it the last time I said it. I was like, wait a second. That's not right. Sing Sho. Uh, so why didn't you tell Sing, Sing Sho? Why didn't you tell us Sing Sho was the Feiyun heir? Oh, I didn't realize you weren't aware. Thank you in advance for returning the book for me. I will take my leave now. May we meet again, fellow merchants. Ooh, it's the last copy. Is there more than one copy? Did it go to the archive? Where did it go? I never know where the books go. Sometimes they go in my inventory, sometimes they don't. I <laughs> haven't clicked on any of these because I actually want to read them. Um... Eh, there must be other volumes that I could get then, right? Wait, what? I have all the volumes? Is it just because I have volumes? Oh, it shows me a little bit. I think, right? I don't know. The one I've really been wanting to read, and I think I'll probably do on stream, it's this one. It's because I think I have all the books. I don't know if I do. Or how many volumes there are. Does it say, I guess? I mean, it shows 11. I don't know. But yeah. Um, that would be like an entire stream, though, basically, I think. <laughs> probably reading all of them, all the volumes. Maybe not an entire stream. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Will I get to keep it in my archive when I return it? Or should I read it now? <laughs> S Sing Xiao made it seems so cool. Look, I kind of want to read it.
Ah, that works. Who needs a ladder when you're Spider-Man? <laughs> Finally, you're back. This morning, the pawnbroker showed up and gave me back my entire collection. Oh, okay. I'm positive that you must have been behind this once again. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. So that book that we got, we must have got it from him the last time then, somehow. And then, because of everything that happened, those thugs, you know, taking his money and stuff, basically. Um... I think that he just wanted to, like, help him out after he got the book. So, I think that's right. I couldn't, yeah. I was having issues trying to piece what everything happened, so that must have been what it was. We came here looking for that book originally, and then he didn't have it because I think that's the only thing he had for payment or something. And then I think we went and chased the person who had it, maybe, or something, and then got it back. And then um, Sing Shu borrowed it, and while he was reading it, that was his plan the whole time, was basically to help this guy out and make things right. So that's pretty cool. I like him. Uh, actually, that wasn't us. Please don't say that. You have no idea how much this means to me. The Chang family was a prestigious household in Liyue back in the day. Unfortunately, after I took over the family's affairs as heir, a series of business setbacks devoured our fortune. Since then, I've saved for years, hoping to restore the house to its former glory. In the end, everything was riding on this Corlapis deal. Were it not for you, this barren wasteland in the mountains would have become my final resting place. Wow, that's the second heir we've met in this town. I'm sorry, what? Uh, nothing. Oh, here's your book back. Wonderful. Legend of the Shattered Halbert. I was beginning to think that Guhua rascal had swindled me. <laughs> the Guhua geek. Do people really look down on the Guhua clan so much? 